Hey there, amazing peoples. I hope you're all having a fantastic day again today. Welcome to another episode of Untold Royal Secrets. This is your favorite royal critic back here, and today we need to talk about this absolutely wild situation happening with our beloved Princess Catherine and the ongoing Sussex saga. Let me tell you, my jaw dropped when I heard about this latest development. So, now, you know, I've been following the royal family for decades, and let me tell you something. I've never seen anything quite like what's unfolding right now. Our precious Princess Catherine, who has shown nothing but grace and dignity through everything thrown at her, was reportedly considering extending an olive branch to the Sussexes for her Christmas carol service. But thank heavens the palace stepped in. Let's be real here for a minute. After everything that's happened, after all the mudslinging, the Netflix documentary, that awful Oprah interview, and don't even get me started on Spare, how could anyone even think about inviting them? I mean, seriously folks, we're talking about a couple who have done nothing but trash the institution that Catherine has dedicated her life to serving. You know what really gets me? The sheer audacity of it all. Here's Catherine organizing this beautiful Christmas carol service that brings joy to so many people, showcasing what true royal service looks like, and then there's the possibility of the Sussexes turning it into another one of their publicity stunts. No thank you. Let's talk about what this carol service really means. This isn't just any event. This is... Catherine's signature annual gathering that she started in 2021. It's become such a beautiful tradition, hasn't it? A moment where we see the real royal family, the ones who actually show up and do the work, coming together to spread some Christmas cheer. And this year, she's even invited those brave young survivors from the Southport stabbing incident. That's what real royal work looks like, my friends. Not sitting in Montecito doing podcast interviews and complaining about how hard royal life was. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how the British public has spoken? That express poll is absolutely telling. 92.7% saying no to inviting the Sussexes. The people know. They remember. They haven't forgotten how that woman, and yes, I'm talking about Meghan, came into our beloved institution and tried to modernize it without understanding the first thing about what the monarchy means to British people. And Harry, oh Harry, it, it breaks my heart, it really does. Remember that cheeky prince we all loved? The one who served his country, who made us laugh, who stood shoulder to shoulder with his brother? Now look at him, following his wife around California, making accusations against his own family, betraying the very institution his grandmother dedicated her life to. It's like watching a Shakespeare tragedy unfold in real time. The palace is absolutely right to put their foot down. This isn't about being unforgiving. It's about protecting an institution that's weathered centuries of storms. It's about standing firm against those who would seek to undermine it for their own gain. And let's be honest, everything the Sussexes touch turns into a media circus. This carol service is about community, about bringing people together, about real royal service, not about providing more content for Netflix documentaries. You know what really speaks volumes? The fact that they've never attended this carol service. Not once. While Catherine has been building this beautiful tradition, bringing comfort and joy to people, where have they been? Oh right, doing interviews, writing tell-all books and playing victims in their California mansion. And let's talk about timing for a moment. This carol service is happening just as we're all still processing the absolute mess that was Omid Scobie's new book. Coincidence? I think not. The timing of these things never is with those two, is it? It's always calculated for maximum impact. I've had so many conversations with fellow royal watchers who are just exhausted by the constant drama the Sussexes bring to everything they touch. Remember how peaceful things were before that infamous Sandringham summit, before the word Megxit entered our vocabulary? The royal family was united, William and Harry were close, and everything made sense. But here's what really matters. Catherine has shown us time and time again what true royal service looks like. She's taken every hit every nasty comment, every cruel comparison, and what has she done? She's kept her head high, focused on her work, and continued to serve the British people with grace and dignity. That's what a future queen looks like, my friends. The contrast couldn't be clearer. While Catherine is organizing events that bring real value to people's lives, what are the Sussexes doing? Well, apart from trying to stay relevant in Hollywood and releasing content that seems specifically designed to hurt the royal family, not much that I can see. 
And can we talk about the actual guests who will be at this carol service, the survivors from that horrible Southport incident, young people who showed incredible bravery in the face of real trauma? That's who should be the focus of this event. Not some attention-seeking couple who abandoned their royal duties for Hollywood glamour. The palace's decision to reject any possibility of inviting the Sussexes isn't just about protecting an event, it's about protecting the monarchy itself. It's about saying, enough is enough. You can't spend years attacking an institution and then expect to be welcomed back with open arms just because it's Christmas. You know what's really interesting? The theme of this year's service is supporting one another. The irony isn't lost on me, and I'm sure it's not lost on you either. While Catherine is actually supporting people, real people, with real struggles, what have Harry and Meghan done except support their own narrative? I remember watching Catherine at last year's carol service. The way she interacted with every guest, the genuine warmth she showed, the way she made everyone feel special. That's what royal service is about. It's not about making headlines or creating drama. It's about quiet, consistent, meaningful work that makes a difference in people's lives. And let's be honest about something else. The British public has made their feelings crystal clear. That express poll isn't just numbers on a page. It's a reflection of how deeply the British people feel betrayed by the Sussex's actions. When 92.7% of people say no to inviting them, that's a pretty clear message, isn't it? The commenter who said, no, 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 no invite, it would become the Megan show, hit the nail right on the head. Everything they touch becomes about them. Everything becomes fodder for their next Netflix project or book deal. That's not what this carol service is about. It's about community, about bringing people together, about celebrating the true spirit of Christmas. Yeah. You know what really gets me? The way they've treated King Charles. This is his first Christmas as king without Queen Elizabeth. And instead of supporting him, what are they doing? Allowing more bombs to be dropped through their friend Omid Scobie's book. The timing is just... Well, it's exactly what we've come to expect from them, isn't it? And Prince William, my heart goes out to him. Watching your brother choose time and time again to side with someone who's repeatedly attacked your family, your wife, the institution you're dedicated to serving, it must be heartbreaking. But he's handled it with such dignity, hasn't he? Focusing on his work, supporting Catherine, being there for his father, that's real strength. The palace's decision to put their foot down about the carol service is actually a kindness when you think about it. Can you imagine the media circus if the Sussexes did show up? It would completely overshadow the real purpose of the event. The young survivors from Southport deserve better than that. The 1,600 guests who are coming to celebrate and support each other deserve better than that. Let's talk about what real royal work looks like. While Catherine is organizing this meaningful event, meeting with survivors, coordinating with charities, and actually making a difference in people's lives, what are Harry and Meghan doing? Making deals with Netflix, planning their next tell-all, complaining about how hard they had it in the royal family while living in their Montecito mansion? The contrast is stark, isn't it? On one side you have Catherine, graceful, dedicated, focused on service. On the other you have the Sussexes, constantly seeking attention, playing victims, trying to monetize their royal connections while simultaneously attacking the institution. It's like watching two different worlds collide. And let's be clear about something. This isn't about being unforgiving or holding grudges. This is about protecting an institution that's vital to British identity and culture. The monarchy isn't just about wearing crowns and living in palaces, it's about service, duty and putting the needs of the nation above your own personal desires. Catherine understands this, William understands this, the Sussexes, well their actions speak for themselves. You know what's really sad? There was a time when having Harry at an event like this would have been wonderful. Remember how he used to be with children? how he could light up a room with his charm and humor. But that Harry seems long gone now, replaced by someone who seems more interested in settling scores and airing grievances than in actual service. The palace's decision to advise against inviting the Sussexes isn't just about one event. It's about drawing a line in the sand. It's about saying that actions have consequences, that you can't spend years attacking an institution and then expect to be welcomed back just because it's convenient for your image. And, and let's talk about timing for a moment. This carol service is happening 
Just as we're dealing with yet another wave of attacks through that Omid Scobie book, the palace is absolutely right to protect this beautiful event from becoming another chapter in the Sussex saga. This service should be about joy, about community, about supporting each other, not about managing family drama. You know what really shows the difference between Catherine and Meghan? While Meghan was complaining about how hard royal life was, Catherine was quietly getting on with the job, supporting people, showing up when needed, being there for her family and the nation. While Meghan was planning their exit strategy, Catherine was planning events like this carol service that actually make a difference in people's lives. The British public gets it. They understand what's at stake here. That's why the response to the Express poll was so overwhelming. People are tired of the drama, tired of the attacks, tired of everything being turned into a media circus. They want their royal family to be able to get on with their work without constantly having to defend themselves against accusations and attacks. And can we talk about how this affects the children? Catherine and William's children will be at this service, carrying on family traditions, learning about service and duty. Meanwhile, Archie and Lilibet are being raised thousands of miles away from their family, their heritage, their culture. It's heartbreaking when you think about it. And the palace's decision is a clear message. Enough is enough. You can't have it both ways. You can't attack the institution and then expect to be included in its celebrations. You can't trash your family in public and then expect to be welcomed back with open arms. Actions have consequences, and it's about time the Sussexes understood that. This carol service represents everything that's right about the monarchy. Service, community, bringing people together. It's about supporting those who have faced real challenges like those brave Southport survivors. It's about showing up, doing the work, making a difference without needing constant praise and attention. So yes, I completely support the palace's decision. This event needs to be protected from becoming another Sussex media circus. It needs to remain what Catherine intended it to be. A beautiful celebration of community, support, and the true spirit of Christmas. And you know what? I believe history will judge this period very clearly. On one side, you'll have Catherine, graceful, dignified, dedicated to service. On the other, you'll have the Sussexes who chose Hollywood over duty, publicity over service, and personal gain over family loyalty. The contrast couldn't be clearer. And that's the way I see it, my friends. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you as relieved as I am that the palace is finally putting its foot down? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest royal news and commentary. Until next time, keep watching, keep caring, and remember the truth always comes out in the end. Peace out.